Hey guys, Matt from SoundRolling.com, and today I'm going to talk you through the little recording options you have on the Sound Devices 688, although it also works for the 633 and the 664. So let's get into it. So you can get to this by pressing the menu button, going to recorder, which is number six, and then we can see the options here. You have an option for recording what you want to record to the CF card and what you want to record to the SD card. Um, I'll show you a few tips at the end of this video for how that can be better utilized. Um, but usually have them both as just a copy of each other. And now these are the options. So WAV Poly just means that you're getting all the different tracks, even your mix tracks and you're getting them all in order, but you're getting them all in one file. And that's really useful for post-production and just labeling purposes because then people don't have to drag individual mono files in all together at a time, one after the other. Then we have WAV Poly, but just the ISOs. The ISO tracks are the individual solo tracks. And what that means is that basically, you can see on this front menu here, it's everything that's not the mix track. So you'd use your fader, you'd go to a mix track, but you would have your individual source microphone on channels 1 through to 12. So it would just record those, and it wouldn't record anything you did to the mix track. Then you would have uh, WAV Poly L and R only, that's the left and right only, so that's the reverse of what I just explained. So instead of just recording the ISO tracks, it only records the left and right audio. Again, as a WAV poly, which means that you would still get the left and the right channel as a kind of stereo channel. Then, this is very similar again for X1 and X2. These are auxiliary ones, and if I change the meter view, they look just like the uh, left and right view. But if I open up one of these channels, you can see here I have X1 and X2 that I can record to, and I can do it with fade, so affected by this, or without this affecting what's going to X1 and X2. So essentially it's just a copy of the ISO track. Then, what do we go to? We go to MP3 land. So MP3s, you can only record the left and the right, or the auxiliaries. This is really useful for transcription purposes. Um, generally what I do is I would um, send a mix of whatever I'm doing uh, to auxiliary one and two, or L and R, and record those separately uh, for uh, the transcription purposes. Uh, generally, my transcription rate is 192 uh, kilobytes a second, and that just keeps everything super light and easy. Then, for instance, if I went over to the other side, I could choose WAV Poly, and then I still have all the files saved as a backup to the CF, and transcription just saved to SD for quick offload and delivery. Then we have WAV Mono, and that essentially puts all of our little files together into just one mono file. And then we have WAV Mono, which is all the files again, but just with all the ISOs. What we can do is WAV Mono would include everything. Now, this is not going to be as useful if you're also using your mix track, uh, because then you'll get doubling up of sources, and that can be really awkward. Um, so WAV Mono might be the option for you. I personally, again, generally use, uh, if it's not anything to do with M um, like transcriptions or MP3s, this is usually my setup, um, although depending on what you need for an editor, uh, you have everything at your disposal. So for instance, you could do one as just ISOs and one as just mix track for um, audio uh, for the editor. So just have an experiment and play around and uh, let me so, if you like that video, you can leave comments down below, you can obviously hit the like button, and uh, subscribe for hopefully more daily stuff, and I will see you next week.